David Webb, Chopper Harris, one of the old guests that we've had on the program here, and of course up front, Alan, H Alan Hudson and Peter Osgood, two really, really skillful midfield players. And up front, Hutchinson Hansman on the left-hand side. Good outfit, strong, strong side. A very entertaining game, uh, mm -hmm. side to lot of watch too. And Tony, this was your United lineup. Perhaps you'd take us through a couple of the players. Yes, well, we had four internationals, I think, at the time. Uh, Tom McAllister, he, he played for Scotland, Eddie Calhoun, uh, myself, and um, but Jimmy Bone for Scotland. I think we'd all played at that time. So it was a strong team. It was unfortunate we didn't have a, have a, a, a big squad because if any of those got injured, we, would, we really would have struggled. But, you know, some great players. Len Badger never played for England, should have done. Yeah. Alan Woodward, you know, certainly up there with those that should have definitely got a cap. He was a great winger. And speed merchants all over the place. Woody, Jeff Sammons, Billy Dearden, you know. Well, it was early in the season, but Chelsea and Sheffield United had yet to win. United in bottom place and Chelsea a couple of places above them. So a lot at stake as we join our commentator, Brian Moore, at Stamford Bridge. And now the season at Stamford Bridge gets underway with Sheffield United in the red and white stripes and black shorts defending the goal to our left against Chelsea all in blue. Two clubs who could hardly have made a worse start to the season. Two defeats each and not a goal yet scored, although John Harris, the manager of Sheffield United and Dave Sexton of Chelsea both say that uh, their performances, or at least their results so far, in no way reflect the sort of football they've been playing. Let's hope for the sake of today's game, they're right. Osgood a good jump there. Now McCready versus Dearden. Helped by Harris. And now Houseman. Kemba. Played nicely for Harris, who did the pass and kept running. The cross now towards Hutchinson as he goes in, and nicely nodded away for Sheffield United by Cahoon. Good header away by the Sheffield United skipper as Fearless Hutchinson really was powering in on him. But now it's with Jim Bone. Good play, close, tight dribbling by him. But Hollins spotting Harris. Garner to Osgood. Hudson. Some ironic cheers for the crowd who feel that uh, Clive Thomas has given Chelsea nothing so far, and now he has given them a throw. No, he's given them a free kick, in fact. Collins, a master at free kicks from this sort of position. Good firm striker of the ball, and that one's taken towards Hutchinson, and a goal! No offside. The linesman certainly didn't give it, but Clive Thomas has given Hutchinson offside. The crowd not happy with that. So, a goal or not, uh, Tony? Well, it looks a goal to me, doesn't it, all the way? I mean, you can see that yeah, yeah. if he's given offside, then it, it's obviously not offside as he's no, considered. It was a push, actually. It was a push. Oh, it was it a push? Yeah, yeah. It, was it was a push. Bit, uh, but when you look at and look at Clive yeah. Thomas, the referee, one of the showmen of all time, wasn't he? Yeah. But when you look at this, I mean, it gave you great pleasure to look at Chelsea. You enjoy that pitch down there. You enjoy playing there. But how did a Londoner settle up in Sheffield? Um... Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, two years at Watford as, a, as an apprentice and a, one year as a pro, and um, they just came down and look, look, looked at me a couple... They, actually, uh, the story goes that they came down to look at uh, Stuart Scullion and Keith Eddy and went back, and went back with me <laughs> for some reason. So, I don't know. But, I mean, it, 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 I, I was up there at 18, and, and it was a lovely place. I took to it straight away. And there you go. And well, the crowd took to you as well, so that was an idea. Straight away. Yeah. Friendly yeah. City, Sheffield. Mm. Oh, it is. Good city. Now, you, you were not happy playing at uh, Stafford Bridge, were you, Bobby? Oh, well, I didn't like anywhere that had a track round. I used to think that it used to, you know, take something away from the atmosphere. Um, the pitch was fine, all right, and the, the club itself, I used to love Chelsea as a club. But... Uh, but I never enjoyed playing the match there. I don't know. Yes. You, seem, you seem to be a little bit isolated. From I must the say, fans. at the time when they were building the stand that we see in Hutchinson construction now, it really was quite a revolutionary three-tier stand in those days, Tony. Huh? 
the stand that they're building now is a three-tier stand, quite revolutionary in those days. Oh yes, yes, it's uh, it's massive. It's right up the back, it's uh, it's frightening. Cleared and winning it in the air, but no support. Osgood. Again, this combination with Steve Kemba coming in nicely. Kemba still going on, going hard into that challenge. McCready right in there. Kemba right in there. And they're trying so hard to get it away. It'll fall now for Ghana, maybe. Back for Houseman. Hit first time against that Sheffield United defence. And still it's not away. Handball! Given and a penalty. A handball given presumably against Led Badger. Well, that can't have been an intentional handball. That was more a reflex defence in his face, I would have thought, by Badger than anything else. And it looks as though somebody's being booked for showing dissent. So Badger difficult to understand that that should be a penalty. I, under, I understand uh, Len Badger's frustration there. I mean, the ball's moved so fast, you can't possibly get out of the way of that. And, you know, we get a lot of complaints that referees don't use the common sense. I mean, it wasn't a dangerous situation. It wasn't a, a, an out-and-out goal-scoring chance. Um, to, to give a free shot at goals just seemed a little bit unfair to me. Young Tom McAllister, the 19 year old Scott, and it's good to see uh, Clive Thomas on the programme again, isn't it? Well, Clive is an entertainer, you know. And he, he seems to flirt with controversy, doesn't he, Clive? <laughs> You'd have felt that you are lucky with that goal down, down now, then, Terry. Um, it really was a disaster. Yes, well, we, we had chance. There was about four or five of us trying to clear the ball, wasn't there? And it broke in, and then it was sort of going out of the area. And he, he, all, he, all he was doing was looping it back in. And um, I think it was Eddie Calhoun's hand that, that I mean, it only travelled about six inches to hit his hand. So we, we were all a bit unhappy about it. But. Did you ever have any trouble with referees, Tony? Never, no, I was marvellous. I was the biggest moaner that there ever was. <laughs> I used to moan at referees all the time. All the time. Yeah, Every it's, decision. It's the way you moan, you see. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were extra with your moaning, were you, Tony? Yeah, just a bit, yeah. <laughs> Over the top, maybe, sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, in, a, in a lot of cases, you know, it's the tone. If you say, you can say some certain things to referees, if you say it in a nice way, you know, you can say exactly the same things as if you come in really hostile. There were some good referees in our days that you could talk to. Pat Partridge, Gordon Hill, yeah. you know, um, what, Jack Taylor. Yeah. yeah. And Clive to an extent, but you had to be careful. But certainly by the way that uh, Hemsley has gone down and injured, it must have been quite a severe challenge that uh, he and Osgood had. So Len Badger on his 30th birthday taking a knock there, but all right again. And Jeff Sammons to take the free kick for Sheffield United. Hudson to Osgood. A high cross again. That'll float under McAllister's crossbar, and he had to put it over. Well, that was a beautiful cross in terms of putting a young goalkeeper under pressure because. He floated it just under the crossbar and with the man like Hutchinson coming in hard. The youngster really had to keep his eye on that ball. He did that well enough, but he's given the corner. Osgood right in there. David Webb, number five, right up as well. A deep corner again. Garner coming in on the far side. And it must have come off Cahoon because it's another Chelsea corner. Garner has been winning a lot of good balls in the air, but now they're going to take a short corner. It's back now with Hausman. Not noted as a right foot player, but now it's on his left foot. Dinked again there very nicely, and Webb was almost in. And another corner. Well, it really has livened up now. Webb, who'd gone up for the corner, stayed up and very nearly had that ball sneaking in at the far post. Hollins with a corner on the far side now. Hutchinson made a dummy run towards the near post. Hit very firmly indeed. Houseman again. Well, if only he could have dinked that one back the way he had the uh, 
previous one just Charlie, a moment David before. Wabner made of yours. Yes, well, he, he took me to Torquay at the end of my career, you know, and he's a, he's a smashing lad. I love him to bits. He's, he's a really down-to-earth smashing lad. Yeah. Smashing lad. Good character. Yeah. I, I used to always feel comfortable going down to, to Chelsea yeah. when I had to go down again, you know, to do a little bit of training when I couldn't get up north. And it was people like David Webb, you know, you felt really, made you feel really welcome anyway. Is David Webb a, a sort of maverick manager? What do you think, Tony? Um, I don't know, really. I, I, I suppose he, he is, yes. He's a character, isn't he? He's a, oh, he's a great character. Great character. You can see a sort of cartoon character, and he's got one of them faces, you know, the old cartoon character. He blames me for injuring him. He, 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 I, think, I think something happened once, and I actually crashed heads with him or something. There's one of I was really proud of that. You know, I actually did some damage. I didn't think I was as tough as that. But he mentions it every time I speak to him. He says, you're the one that nearly put me out of the game. David Webb, you're only doing it for a while. It's a friend of the craze, so you better watch out, Bobby. He's a great... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> He's a great character, David Webb. Not many like him. Kemba to Houseman. Nicely played there by Chelsea to Hudson and now to Osbury. Back for Hudson again. Chelsea now moving with a bit of conviction. Houseman. Hutchinson. Too many cooks there. Now Tony Curry. Bowen up ahead of him, Dearden up ahead of him, Badger's made a run down the right for him, still with Curry. Here's Badger. And a throw. Seven minutes to go to half-time, Chelsea still leading by that uh, controversial penalty. Badger with the throw. Too high for Webb. Didn't really get uh, the right sort of header in there. But now Garner for Chelsea. Went straight into trouble, and it's with Tony Curry. Letting one fly, and a beautiful goal! Tony Curry, a superb goal! You'd like that kind of goal, Bobby, wouldn't you? Uh, I type the goal out, I love those. Yeah. Well, the, the fans love it, don't they? They love to see shots at goal, especially from outside the box. And as soon as he's on his right foot, you, you never score unless you have a shot. And it was lovely. The fans loved all that. Don't Tell me, how did you perfect your shooting skills? Did you have a technique that you adopted to, to perfect them? No. I just... Um, kind of me, I mean, it's yeah, it's time and it just, just comes natural, I suppose. I mean, well, the only thing is you, you used to bang him up against the wall, uh, Bobby, well, didn't It was you? just general striking of the ball. Yeah. It wasn't particularly shooting. Oh, right. Uh, but I think good shooting really comes from practice. You know, and you get your timing right, and then you get a little chance, and you're not afraid to take it. Mm. And you, if the ball's running nice for you, why not have a crack? Were you a good trainer, Tony? Yes, I was. I was a very good trainer. I'd go back in the afternoon, and then, in, you know, well, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in my younger days, in the seventies times, you know, when, you, when you're a bit, when you're a bit older, you um, you have to not do so much, perhaps, you know, but. Um, no, I mean, we, everybody liked to have a shot, didn't they, before training, after training, so, so there was plenty of shots. I, I prob Looking back, I didn't shoot as much as I should have done. Mm. You know, there was times I, look, I, I can remember games and I think, well, I should have shot there. Because, I mean, nowadays you see lots of goals flying in, don't you? I don't know whether the keepers are not as good as what they were in our day or what. <laughs> I think you'd have been able to take a few free kicks and things, though, wouldn't you? And the ball's softer, so your skill of bending the ball, you know, you, you'd have... You'd have been fantastic, yeah. I, mean, I would have thought now. Yeah, we didn't do that so much, did we? I, I no, remember. the ball was a bit heavier, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they took the pressure out a few years ago. Uh, the FIFA, I think, brought the pressure down, so you can bend it better. Mm. Harry still going on. And played nicely for Jim Bone. He's all right, he's on side. And somehow Chelsea scrambled that one away as well. With their defence really in disarray again. As the whistle goes for half-time and the sides all square at one each. John Hollins, the man who scored with that controversial penalty for Chelsea. And then the equaliser coming from Tony Curry, a truly tremendous shot. So one on half-time. What about Ken Furphy? What was he like? Looked uh, 
very fragile indeed in that last quarter of an hour in particular. But here's Chelsea now, getting us away, defending the goal to our left, David Webb, the long ball to Bill Garner. This is Ron Harris to Hausman. A flick on towards Garner again. But again, just a little too delicate, and the uh, Sheffield United defence closed very quickly on that occasion. And a foul there on Tony Curry. He really has played exceptionally well in this first half. Score of a magnificent goal, and uh, he's hit three or four very good long passes of some 40-odd yards. Very accurately, and has always been attacking this Chelsea defence. Webb with a header. Now Hollins. Interception there by Eddie, and a good pass there to Dearden, who's onside. He's quite all right. Webb hurrying to get back. Dearden with the shot, which is wide. Such pattern as there is, uh, and there isn't really very much about it. Coincides very much with the first half, where Chelsea perhaps had a little more of the game, but Sheffield United are suddenly making these quite surprising breaks through a non-existent Chelsea defence. Cahoon's header. And now it's with Hemsley. Dearden again, nodded down nicely there for Sammons. Interception by Hudson. A presentation to Curry. Woodward, Sammons. Curry again. Faced by Hollins. Hollins trying to get him to go back towards his own goal. Woodward now to Hemsley right in there. And Hemsley scored in this game last season, but he was denied a shot there. But Eddie gets the shot in. And that was a little too close for comfort again for Chelsea. Fellow who's moved up from Watford in the third division to the first division and really has taken to it very well. Got through a lot of good work in the middle of the field for Sheffield United. Keith Eddie. Hudson to Houseman. All played there by McCready straight to the Sheffield United player Jim Bone. And McCready coming back because Bone was so slow making any value of it. But it's with Woodward now. So the danger is still there for Chelsea. As Woodward turns it across again. And Webb so close to turning it into his own net. Curry. Back for Eddie. And again that cross into the Chelsea area. Hollins now with plenty of time. Garner trying to turn with it. Now fighting for it with Sammons brought down and a free kick. <laughs> Hollins with that long free kick again. Hutchinson trying to get a touch to it. He hasn't had too much scope in the air against John Flynn. Hudson. And now Osgood on side. Curled nicely, but just over that crossbar and behind. Oh, and here's a break for Sheffield United with Sammons. He's going to get a clear shot at goal, Sammons. And Benetti just picked it up when it looked a surefire bet that Sheffield United would go ahead. But Benetti did very well to pick that one out. Hudson. Picked from a long way out. That time it was McAllister's turn. something that is in drastic need of repair particularly in that Chelsea defense the way two or three times that Sheffield United have been able to make those quick breaks 
for the middle of the field and get a clear shot towards half time and there again with Sammons It'll be John Hollins who takes the throw for Chelsea. Hutchinson. Still got all the bravery in the world, Hutchinson, but he just, if anything, lacks that yard or so in pace that he seemed to have before those succession of bad injuries. And here's Curry taking it up again for Sheffield United. Oh, well stopped there by Webb. Curry just a little greedy there because he had Beard and Beard been placed outside him. And there's the shout for Garner to go racing away. And Garner now is through. Oh, and it's saved by McAllister. After Flynn had fallen, Flynn fell. Garner had just the goalkeeper to beat. And McAllister did supremely well. There's a break now for Woodward. Quarter of an hour to go as Woodward is stopped that time by Hollins, but gets a corner. So Benetti, Harris, Jim Bone, they're waiting. With another of these testing corners from Alan Woodward. Towards the far post, and he hits them so well and low. Well held that time by uh, Benetti. Hudson. McCready. Houseman. Kemba getting a little bit of treatment on the far side while the game goes on. Hudson now. Garner wanting to turn on it. He's found Osgood. Played wide now for Hollins. But Sheffield United with so many defenders back again. And that wasn't a good cross. Much too firmly there by uh, John Hollins. Steve Kemba changing his boots. Norman Medhurst, the Chelsea trainer. Son of Harry Medhurst for so many years, the trainer here. And still, in fact, in an official capacity here. That fell nicely for Bow. And uh, Alan Woodward is all right. He's onside now. Can this put Sheffield United ahead? He has! Alan Woodward, 2-1. And Chelsea have at last played for those errors in defence. Right, well, there we are. There's the lead, uh, Bobby. The Sheffield the must feel they deserve. And right. Woodward goes through well, Woodward, uh, he's got a bit of pace, Alan Woodward. United. He was very sharp and fast. And once he was going, there was no, no way they were going to catch him. Um, but a bit disappointed in the goalkeeper. You know, Peter Burnett, well, he's, he's been Woodward on his heels there and has gone through him. Goals. But... Um, with a it just finish. shows you, you know, early on in the season, um, you said none of these and sides had won and were in, in a bit like of trouble, but not really, you know, <laughs> not really. Fitness, fitness plays Benetti a big part early on in the season, and, and the fast and players come into their own. And the Sheffield United, one thing I noticed about them at this time, they did have fast players. And Mickey Troy, their big substitute, is now stripping off, and Ian Hutchinson is going off. Well, he struggled a little bit for pace, Ian Hutchinson. And so, Droy, a big defender, has come on. And I would think that probably means that David Webb goes right forward. Yes, Webb, in fact, the number five, is right up now in a centre-forward position. Woodward. Crossed again by Len Badger towards Tony Curry. Referee looking hard at his watch again. Garner. And there goes the final whistle. It's all over with a bad start indeed to the season for Chelsea. Three games, three defeats, only one goal to show for it. And that came from a penalty and it wasn't good enough to beat Sheffield United. Alan Woodward's winner, some ten minutes from the end, adding to the goal scored by Tony Curry, a truly brilliant one in the first half. Bell, Curry, 
Far post is Clark. Oh, neatly done. That will do indeed. Anna Clark, it's 2 0. And to relive the moment, there's Curry's ball. Defence was leaving Clark much too much room. Sara was hanging back off him. Beautiful close control, though, and that shot across the face of the goalkeeper. Barton losing his feet when he needed them most there. Etmar flicking it on, and Sturrock didn't chase on. Hunter, Evelyn Hughes. Clark is wide to his left. Everybody wants to score. Eagerness of England now. That's Curry going for that ball from Hunter. And that's number five from Martin Chivers. 15 minutes into the second half. Big Chiv gets his first goal of the evening. That ball from Emlyn Hughes. Skidding away over the far side. Here's the pass that set it up. Hunter for Curry in behind them. Chiva starts his run now, and that's an easy scoring chance. From the halfway line again. And again from Hunter, and we started the last attack. Tony Curry. Maidley. Faced by Eigenstiller. Hits Starek. Shannon up. Down for Curry. That's number six. Six nothing. Tony Curry. That's his first ever international goal in senior internationals. He'll enjoy seeing the way that Maidley knocks it across, comes off Starek. Shannon, a good challenge under pressure, and Tony Curry, a glorious shot to the far corner. making chances and must expect to make more with Graham Cross off. This is Sammons. That's the low one. Birchinall deciding not to leave it with Shilton behind him. And getting into a bit of trouble. That right hand ball, but the ball's going to be crossed. And it's Rolf again. A half yards to Curry. Curry trying to work the room for Shani Strip. Penalty. It's a penalty. As Curry was trying to work his way through the penalty area. It's Peter Shilton, England's goalkeeper to face a penalty from Alan Woodward. Mr. Morrissey not yet happy that everyone is... Now, I think there may have been a word, a few words said. Woodward, 1-0. So a spell of fierce Sheffield United pressure. Most entertaining first half, but we're still waiting for a goal. Wood with that long raking corner. What a good one! What a beauty! I think it's John Flynn. Now Woodward. Badger. Woodward. Curry moving up into the area. Woodward again. Good move. Oh, what a goal! What a magnificent goal! <laughs> That's the second of the deadly duo. Flynn got the first. Cahoon the third. Alderson back for Coop. Early for cross. Little touch on for Steen. And that's a fine goal. turned out to be 27 minutes of the first half gone one nothing Coventry and that's broken a sequence of 618 minutes plus 27 what's that 645 minutes since the last quarter goal in the league however let's go back and look at the goal again the fine build-up with Coop Alderson joining in cross getting a touch and Steen the finishing nudge right into the corner of the net So, as we go down into the uh, 45th minute of this first half, for which we shall have some injury time, a uh, little bit of niggle, a little bit of needle getting into the game. Dugdale, it's a bit dicey. Cartwright is there. 
Woodward takes over. Dugdale and Curry right over the top of him. Well, there's some more needle. Curry right over Dugdale. Hutchison taking him away, and Dugdale goes in the book as well. Dugdale number five. kick for Sheffield United to exploit. Curry is over the ball. We're going into injury time now, of which there was quite a piece. Curry going to the referee saying uh, oh, he's, not, he's inviting Woodward to come and join him in this uh, free, free free kick ploy. Curry over the ball and Woodward whacks it. And he scores a fantastic goal. Wow, that is the way to hit a free kick. Alan Woodward ties the scoreline up 1-1. His tenth goal of the season. The power of this man's shooting really is dramatic. So, the free kick. Curry running over the ball. And with gay abandon. Woodward clatters it with his right foot and Glazier has got no chance at all. Salmon. Bone giving it a chase, Parker away. Hemsley forward. McCoot now playing centre half. With Duckdale off the park. This is Jim Bone for Sheffield United. Still there and whacked down by Parker. Talent count getting a bit hectic now. That was the uh, 21st foul of the game. 10 against Coventry, 11 against Sheffield United. Well, the last time Sheffield United had a free kick in this situation, they hit an equaliser, and the man who did it is this fellow. Woodward just gone out of picture to the left. Curry takes this one, and he scored! What an incredible... No, it's been knocked off. It has been knocked off. Woodward trying the dummy and it didn't come off. Maguire hoisting it, aiming it for Green. It's a Coventry ball. Good lining. Cartwright. Steen knocking it for Cross and he going again. has got his first goal for Coventry and put them in the front in the lead 29 minutes of the second half gone and Cross after his 150,000 pound transfer from Norwich starts paying some of it back well he was brought here to score goals and he's got one Coventry's entire ambition now must just be to play keep ball, not to give the ball away needlessly. And it's won well by Green, and surely crosses offside. No, he isn't. He has scored his second goal. And that certainly wraps it up for Coventry. Sheffield United players absolutely stunned by that goal. 44 minutes, so we're in the last minute of the game. As the score goes to 3-1...